Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today I am in Montgomery, Alabama, and we are going to visit Chris's Hot Dogs. This place has been around since 1917, and it's been told that once even Hank Williams got kicked out of here. And we're gonna tell you the story and meet some of the people inside, but right after this station, identification. Chris's famous chili sauce. They say this is what has kept them going for 130 years. He said this is what I need to get a hot dog and a hamburger, and we're all going to check this hot dog out. Hey, Chris. Pretty good. Pretty good. He said this here. <clears throat> he said Chris's was a hot dog place that Hate Williams frequented a lot. They actually had to kick him out a time or two. Here at Chris's Hot Dogs, third generation here. But my grandfather opened this restaurant up um, 103 years ago. Wow. And uh, he served everybody from FDR to President Truman. Um, Hank Williams Sr. is one of Hank Williams Sr.'s hangouts. Mm -hmm. And um, he would, uh, Hank would sit up here at the bar and he'd get a hot dog shot, a shot and a beer and uh, he'd grab a napkin every time he was in here and he'd start writing lyrics and um, one day he was sitting up there and a pretty day like he walked in and said hey good looking what you got cooking well that song's sitting here and then uh, at night he's in my back booth and many times he'd end up with too much spirit in him so I tell everybody I'm the last place to live in the C.T. Williams Alley. The truth is I'm just the last place to live in. You can get up everywhere in town. But you know, all the governors have been through here. And all the liars, liars, I mean legislators. <laughs> Y'all remember the great Gatsby. Uh, you know, S. got came to Montgomery military training. I never do that. And um, the, um, um, uh, the, but him and who has L here in Montgomery, She's from Montgomery, and uh, Zell took dance lessons on the third floor of this building 100 years ago. And then across the street where the power company is, there was a dance hall. They danced over there. They had like night hanging out. And then, you know, by Court Square down the street, there was a park park next to there. And Martin King's Church was right here on the right by the Capitol. And he would come in here every Sunday to get papers from my grandfather. And they'd have a problem that they had a plan. My grandfather was Greek immigrant. And the other the plan didn't like blacks, the Greeks, the Jews, the Catholics, the Italians, the Irish, the Germans. And um, the, um, you know, my grandfather's father, don't give you red, or blue, black, or white. Your money's green, you're a friend of mine. And I go, see those pictures on the wall here. There's zero politics on my walls and very little college football. You know, in this state, you can say War Eagle or Roll Tide, and half your cup is going to come back. Mm -hmm. So I keep my mouth shut. I, I like everybody's money. But, um, you know, we cared for Elvis when he was in town. Uh, 200 hot dogs for Elvis. He stayed across the street at the Double Tree Hotel. Uh, we did 2,000 for Wallace when he president. And actually, four years ago yesterday, I did 2,600 for the USS Montgomery down in Mobile for the new Littoral Combat Ship that was named for the US Navy. And now we're serving y'all, so welcome. So, thank y'all for coming in. Well, thank you. So, and thank you for all his history. Yeah, so, then, um, so this here is where George Wallace had George Wallace some Hank of his Williams. meetings. And yes. Hank Williams, did he write songs here too? He wrote songs here, he got kicked out of here too. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, so this is where he, after being playing music in town late, uh, locally, uh -huh. he would um, end up here and he'd have the first two, these two or three booths here. My grandpa would say, all right, you've had enough time for you to go. And he said, well, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go down to this, this place. He said, why? He said, they gonna kick you out too, so I'm gonna go home. So, but, uh, but, and then Wallace would sit here, and then he'd have the same people sit here, and that way he'd do important, important, important business here that, that wasn't at the castle. <laughs> Hank Williams. Hank Williams sat right at this bar and wrote this famous song, Hey, Good Looking, What You Got Cooking. This guy put out these hot dogs. Look at him. Now he's going to do a hamburger. Most efficient place in Montgomery, Alabama. And you 
during the depression, you could get a hot dog for eight cents and a hamburger for ten, and look, drinks for five cents. Well, and actually, at that point, that was our, this was our sitting prices. Uh -huh. Next door was a federal building, and um, this was as much as we could charge. Back then, prices were going up and down so much. Actually, our hot dogs were a nickel, uh -huh. but they said that we could not charge more than eight cents for a hot dog. Wow. The most expensive thing on the menu is a pickle poop stick. We, we no longer carry that anymore. <laughs> it was no very Okay. So this is the menu that Hank Williams ordered off of? Mm -hmm. so is that a, that's that's just some of the old Hank Williams posters on the wall. This picture here is, was taken from the, from the front door. Right where we're standing now. Yes. In 1922. Yep. Awesome. All right, that was a pretty awesome hot dog. I enjoyed it as well as the hamburger fries. And by the way, I love good French fries. And this was something that you could really love on great. I want to thank you for joining me here at Chris's Hot Dogs. If you like this video, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to tell your family and friends to share on your social media. But until next time, y'all have a good day.